Hello and welcome again to another StarCraft video where I'm going to discuss a strategy uh, the TVT on Metalopolis. Don't be afraid of TVT. They can be fun. They can also be terrible. I'm on the left, my opponent's on the right, GLHF, and hi, my friend Terrazine. Didn't know what I was going to do yet. Didn't really have a mind made up. Thought I'd just be reactionary. Typically, the 1 1 1 build is the thing to do. I've pretty much gotten comfortable with the 1-1-1 one, 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 where you get a two tanks sieged, a handful of marines, one viking in the air. You push out, siege up, get air superiority, and uh, start blasting your opponent's base from the ground. Uh, rally your new vikings to the, uh, the viking in the air at the front and just basically reinforce, build supply depots, go back home to build supply depots, uh, a few more barracks expansion, etc, etc, etc. I've got that down fairly well. My st What I struggle in is uh, macroing at the same time that I'm microing a battle. It's very hard to do, uh, but I have made it work. It's the strongest push, in my opinion the most effective win against a Terran. Also, three racks, uh, two tech add-ons, one reactor, go Marauder Heavy, pray he doesn't go Banshee, uh, even if uh, he has a couple of tanks, if you've got Stim, and if you're aggressive enough, you can just blast right through them. What I don't do often enough is what I'm going to do here. Um, Again, I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to do. But I thought, okay, he's expanding early, so that's a window of opportunity for me to, to go in with some early aggression rather than expand myself. Risky, obviously, because if he can hold it off, then he's ahead. And it's all downhill from there. But I thought, why don't I try to do this? Get an early Banshee out there, and then follow it up with Tank Marine. Upgrade complete. One technique that I do um, is while my SCV is building a rack, so I'll hit T, cancel the, or temporarily suspend the production, build a quick depot, hit T again, uh, right click on the barracks to continue building that, and then queue him up to complete the, uh, the supply depot when he's done with that. That way I can wall in quick, d uh, deny him a scout. Um, and I'm not pulling another SCV off the line, so I can continue mining. Oh, it does delay your barracks by about, oh, as long as you decide to build up your depot. Say 10 seconds worth. Um, but an SCV is not going to be able to attack through, um, a depot. So it's, it's a good technique that I use sometimes. Alright, so I lost my SCV. Um, I actually took out one of his. So... It wasn't off or not. Alright, uh, tech lab immediately. Build a starport. Make sure um, that my gases are saturated. saturated. What I'm going to do, um, I'm going to grab the towers. I don't, I'm blind. So I'll just push out with my marine force. And I know he is going to um, want to drop that expansion down when he has it. So what I'm going to do is place my marines right where his command center is normally going to drop and deny him that income for as long as I can. Um, you can see what I did was I made a tech lab and then flipped my rack, or my factory uh, to build another tech lab, allowing me to just drop my uh, completed starport on a, on a ready-to-go tech lab. Not going to bother with Cloak. Um, I just don't have the gas for it, and I'm not really interested in investing a lot into Banshees. 
I usually it's rare for me to get cloak. What I like to do is put a single banshee in the air, uh, put you know harass this mineral line for as long as I can, back out when his marines show up, uh, and then what's that going to do? Is it's it's going to hopefully cause him to overreact and invest a great deal in missile turrets rather than an army because I don't intend to do that again. It's human nature to assume that if you're attacked on one front to you know put security on that front to the exclusion of everything else but there's so many different ways that you can get in so that's just a method that I use all right Banshee's in the air I'm gonna queue him up to come up and around um, I'm gonna avoid the north tower because he may be on that and get my uh, tank situated very important that I queued up uh, a regular amount of tanks coming in as you'll see yeah, he's got the tower, so don't want to just fly as the crow flies with those banshees. Alright, I can hear from my marines that he uh, really wanted to expand. That's fine. What I'm going to do is uh, occupy his marines with the banshee on the top while I'm getting the tanks ready to go at the bottom. So it's kind of a two-pronged approach. Go for the mule first. He's at half health. I was able to get one more SCV, start working on another one, and it's time to go. In the meantime, he's preoccupied down there. Let's go to his camp. So, my siege tank is going to disallow him from mining, obviously. Uh, and he's not going to move out until he's got a, a good amount of marines. The quandary for him is he's worried that my banshee's going to come back. So that keeps him occupied in his base with the, the marines until his turrets are up. Meanwhile, that gives me a little bit of time to siege up and get a second tank in position. Add on. So I've got a tank. One sieged, one not. I'm not going to siege the second. For obvious reasons. It'll take too long, and... He can just run right up and hit me when I can't hit him. So I'm going to lose that tank. It's too bad, but I took out his brown army. I've got another tank on the way. Meanwhile, I put my uh, Banshee, and I queued him up to come up and around. Because I know this expansion's not going to last. He's going to have to get that thing out of there or he's going to lose it. So again, I lose another, I think I lost another siege tank, I can't remember, but I got at least one on the ground, one banshee for spotting, and I had another set of marines that were ready to go, so I brought them into the equation. I'm going to take out that missile turret in case my uh, banshee flies into it, and then it's really just a matter of sitting and, and letting, him, um, letting him deal. He's not going to be able to do much, uh, so he just leaves the game. So that's a, a nice little two-prong attack. Um, I'll go back home to let you know that my macro suffered. I could have uh, at some point brought my SCVs down, obviously. Uh, I did build a few more racks in the meantime, just gearing up for uh, the next wave. And uh, But that was pretty much it. So fun, fun tactic, um, micro-intensive as usual. But look, you know, he, he built two missile turrets that never got into use. So that's some money that's that's wasted. He had let's look at everything. Yeah. He's got three racks and a factory and never really got to a starport. You can see he's kind of from his point of view, he's a little frazzled. Um, when I was reviewing his cam, it, he was kind of running all over the place, so he wasn't really building. Out of his three barracks, he's only building one marine out of them. So, because he's so preoccupied with micro -ing. Fun game. Hope you enjoyed it. Adios. Have a nice day. Hasta la vista. Arrivederci.